everybody. Welcome, welcome to Wealthy Wednesdays, this lovely, lovely evening. Tonight, my name is Monica. I'm your hostess for the evening. I am the owner of Queen Care, founder and director of the Life Enrichment Group. Hi, everybody. My name is Tajiana Ellis, and I am the Queen Care Consultant. And should, should we make this announcement now? Let's do it. No, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Okay. We got we got a couple of big announcements. We got a couple of big announcements. Okay, I won't make it now. Okay, make... let's wait. We gotta we gotta have a special a special wealthy Wednesday. We got a special okay, 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 okay. So I'm the academic coordinator for the Life Enriching Group, Tajiana Ellis. <laughs> and welcome to Wealthy Wednesdays. All right, you guys. So Thank you so much for tuning in. I just have to take a pause for the cause and just say, you all really have been tuning in all the way from the East Coast, West Coast, down South, all over. And we just really appreciate you all saying yes, number one, to yourself and checking us out um, on this Wealthy Wednesday. Wealthy Wednesdays is really an online health initiative that's focusing on learning and relearning how to properly take care of ourselves. So if you're anything like myself, you really did not grow up learning how to put yourself first and it not be a selfish thing, okay? Um, so if that was your experience, Wealthy Wednesdays is all for you. It's all about us putting ourselves first in a way that says, hey, self-care, I'm practicing self-care, Self-care is a function of self-love, and that's what we're promoting on Wealthy Wednesdays. Um, I also want to shout out all of our Queen Care customers out there. We appreciate you. Um, and if you don't know about Queen Care, Queen Care, um, we sell all natural products that are infused with good energy that really um, foster self-care, self-love, and to really help us to realize the importance of what we're putting on our bodies, right? Um, so our tagline for Queen Care is to indulge, engage, and uplift, right? So indulge in self-care practices. We have so many products that can help you do just that. Engage with each other like we're doing now, um, you know, talking to each other, sharing best practices with each other. That's how we grow together and uplift each other, right? Each one, reach one, each one, teach one. Um, we're only as strong as our weakest link. So um, really uplifting our community together, all right? So that's what Queen Care is all about. And Queen Care was really created to support our nonprofit partner, Life Enrichment Group. So every purchase um, that you purchase from Queen Care supports youth programming, within Seattle, King County, um, and abroad too, because since we've been in virtual land, we've been able to expand our services to um, serve young people across the state. So that's a little tidbit about Queen Care, about Wealthy Wednesdays, and we are so happy that you are here, okay? So right now we are in part six of seven of our um, personal wellness uh, series, wait, seven ways to boost your personal wellness. Okay, so I said Wealthy Wednesdays is all about being healthy, wealthy, and being physically wealthy is one of those functions. Okay, today we are talking about like really engaging and really just having practices that help you to release your stress on a day to day basis. So that's what we're talking about today. Thank you for being here. Yes, and so since you're here, um, there are so many different ways you can stay connected with us. And so if you want to stay tuned and make sure that you know the what's happening with Queen Care, all the things Queen Care, this show is definitely one of them. So you can definitely stay connected with us and watching the show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. on Facebook Live. And we also uh, post it on our Instagram page. Um, but if you share and like and comment on this video, we would appreciate it. We want to share it, like it, and comment. Um, we always have some really great questions of the day. And also, um, you can remember to go back and watch all of our previous episodes, even from season one, because if you don't know, we're actually in season two. So if you want to go back to season one and watch season two, you can do so on our Instagram page on Queen Care Products underscore 
one. So you want to follow us on Instagram. And then you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And you want to make sure that you are liking and following our Facebook page, which is where you're probably at right now. And to do so, just make sure you follow us on IG, Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And then, of course, last but not least, but you can also visit us at www.queencareproducts.com. Com, okay, so those are all the different ways you can stay connected with us. The way that, um, I mean, our question of the day, we always have a question of the day. So today is no different. So our question of today is, what is your favorite self-care activity? What is your favorite self-care activity? So, um, you know, my favorite, I'll answer first. My favorite self-care activity, let's see. I would have to say my favorite self-care activity um, it's definitely getting Manny and Petties. Like, I haven't actually gone back to the salon since March and the whole stay-at-home orders, but I always love a good getting my nails done and getting a pedicure. So I still make sure I do that um, now, <laughs> now that we're, uh, that we still have been in quarantine. And I know those are, the nail salons are open, but I've been doing self um, manicures and self pedicures, and it's been great especially when we get to do it for our um, que our in-home spa experiences, which we'll touch on a little bit later. But Monica, what, are, what is your favorite self-care activity? Like, what's your favorite? Well, I was just wondering, too, about your self-care activity. Are you using the Queen Care Spa Experience set? Because even if you're not going to get your Manny Perry, Eddie, that spa <laughs> experience set is specially formulated for your hands and feet. So I was just wondering. Tajin. Yes, thank you for okay. wondering. Um, shameless plug, not so shameless, is that I actually do use our Queen Care Spa Experience Kit set, and it is amazing. It comes with our um, pamper oil and our honeysuckle on our lilac, and it also comes with a pamper scrub specifically ma made to um, exfoliate your feet and your hands, which leaves your hands and your feet so soft. Um, and that also comes in lilac and honeysuckle. And then it also comes with some great, like the pumice um, stone. It comes with um, the nail filer, nail clippers, like the whole thing, like literally like having a pedicure at the house, okay? And it's amazing. So you definitely, oh, and sorry, our, pam our pamper wash, our pamper wash as well. So it literally comes with everything that you would get at a nail salon but you can have it in the comfort of your home. If you're like me and you're not ready to go back to the nail salons, but you still need these feet to look right, come get your Queen Care Spa Kit. And we'll talk about that a little bit more later. But that's, thank you, Monica, for reminding me to talk about something that's very important to me. <laughs> it's a spa set. <laughs> I'm over here laughing because you're so good at the commercials. I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> um, okay, so, all right. You know what? My favorite self-care activity hands down are queen soaks or aka bubble baths okay yes. I take it very seriously i actually was in an hour long soak before we even got on so i'm feeling yes, real good. Hour? i'm relaxed i'm ready to go that's my favorite self care activity because it just really just calms me and at the same time it just soothes my muscles and all of that and helps me to absolutely relax. So I'm looking forward to seeing in the comments what you guys' favorite self-care activity is. Absolutely, all right? So, rolling absolutely. right along, rolling right along. Um, today, we really are encouraging everyone to build your own self-care routine. So like I said, this is part six of seven in the series of promoting personal wellness. And tonight is all about prioritizing release activities daily to really manage your stress, okay? We know that stress is a part of everyday life. It's gonna happen, let's manage it properly, okay? Um, so we have dropped, or we are gonna drop Queen Care's personal wellness roadmap in the comments. This is a roadmap that takes you through Monday through Friday. Um, and we're gonna also post it on our Facebook and Instagram pages so you can download this guide, you can screenshot this guide, and follow along with this guide with us. Absolutely, we are challenging you. Oh, we're gonna turn this in a into a challenge. Absolutely. We're going to challenge you to do at least three release or self-care activities daily. Check them off and really just um, 
challenge yourself to start small or start somewhere as far as self-care is concerned. And even if you're a self-care guru and just on this journey, let's challenge you to up your level of self-care, okay? So um, Taji, tell us more about this challenge. Let, let's do this. Yes. So since, as Monica said, we always love a good challenge and we do this because, you know, accountability is important. And sometimes we may not do it on our own because we're like, ah, I'll get to it. But if you have a challenge, some of us are competitive. So we be going in. Uh, I did want to just read a comment for our, our self-care. Somebody mentioned what their self-care activities are. So before I get into that, um, shout out to Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Ashley said she likes to go to the gym um, and drink a gallon of water and a hot bath for her self-care activities. And she also mentioned that she needs the Queen Care Spa Experience set. Absolutely, you need your spa, spa experience set. Absolutely. Um, so thank you, Ashley. Make sure you guys are answering that question. What's your favorite self-care activity? So to the challenge, what you have to do, all you have to do is post your daily checklist that we'll be posting um, at least once to enter the challenge. If you want to post it more than once, like throughout the week, that's perfectly fine. We'll love it but the, uh, the, the only expectation is to do it once. So you must have at least three self-care activities completed and checked off. And you'll see that the checklist will give you a chance to like check it off or use stickers or however you want to check it off um, for that day. Then once you check off at least three, then you need to post that um, completed checklist for that day to either your Instagram or your Facebook. You can do a post or it can do a story um, and tag us um, at Queen Care Products underscore one on Instagram and then on Facebook it's just Queen Care Products. So definitely make sure to tag us because we can't see it if you don't. And then you would need to use the hashtags, hashtag self care challenge, hashtag Queen Care, hashtag I love me. Okay, that's super important, those hashtags. So this challenge starts tomorrow. Um, actually, our our owner, Monica, has already started the challenge, so y'all need to catch up. Catch up! <laughs> but the challenge starts tomorrow, and you will have until Tuesday, September 22nd. We will announce the winner next episode, which will be next Wednesday, the 23rd at 8 p.m., so you want to make sure you guys get it in, okay? So we're going to definitely make sure we put the um, the checklist on our Facebook page, um, and everything like that is looking like we can't actually add it to the comment section, but I'm going to add it on our page right now for Facebook, and then we'll add it to our Instagram page as well. Perfect. And we can share it, though, too, right? Yes, we can share Okay, it. perfect. All right, you guys, so challenge on. Let's go. I'm challenging all of you all, because here's the thing. When we really take care of ourselves, like, we're able to take care of each other a little better, right? When you're yes. more relaxed and stress-free, I'm not going to snap off on you if, you know, I'm feeling that way as opposed to being uptight, okay? So let's take care of ourselves so we can take care of each other a little better, all right? So today, we're definitely talking about how and why we need to implement these release activities into our daily routine, all right? We're going to break down the roadmap for you today. And we broke it down into three categories. So maybe we can share it now. Um, yes. Those three categories is the essentials category, the physical care category, and the mental and emotional category. These categories. This is all categories of self-care, okay? So um, this is our personal wellness roadmap your guide to self-care, right? From Queen Care. Yay. So let's just get right into it. Let's talk about let's into these it. are like, you know, they're like um, no-brainers, you know what I mean? But, and, they're, and they seem so simple, but really this is about carving out time for yourself. And that's where the challenge comes in. Absolutely. But let's just go through some of these things and let's get on this journey together. What's Let's up? do this. Okay, so we're going to start with essentials. So that's like, you know, those are things that really should just be doing. But, you know, we're all in different levels of our self-care journey. So there's no judgment at Queen Care and on Wealthy Wednesdays at all. So um, the first one is to get a good night's nice rest, okay? It's recommended to get at least, at least seven to eight hours of uninter uninterrupted rest. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I can do better in that area. 
I'm gonna be completely transparent. And so, that's good. Yeah, and that's good. So this is why, you know, when we have these things, it's helping us to remember, you know, I can I can't improve in that area. So for me, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you guys. So the next one is staying hydrated. It's important to stay hydrated. So it's important um, to consume in order and consume water in order to maintain good health. And for your body to stay hydrated, they recommend um, at least eight glasses of water, which is about 64 ounces, half a gallon of water a day. Um, that's just the bare minimum. If you are trying to actually drink the amount um, for, your, for your particular body weight, they say take your weight divide that by two, and that's how many ounces you actually are supposed to drink based off of your weight. So, but baby steps, right? So that, those are the first two. That's so interesting about that water too, because that's something that I always have to remember. Like, you know, mm. like this week I haven't really been big on my water. I've been drinking a lot of other stuff, you know what I mean? But I noticed that when I am big on drinking my water, like, I, I have more energy or something like that. It's like when I'm not drinking my water, I'm a little more sluggish. sluggish. So yeah. Yeah, drinking that water is important. All right. So. so next up on the essentials, okay. And this is something that you might not think of, but I absolutely love. And that's spending time outdoors in nature, okay. Like exposing yourself to all the beautiful wonders outside. There's a peace that comes with when you spend time in nature it just is like you know you have no distractions <laughs> i mean you know you can really just like calm yourself still yourself getting fresh air those things like and especially in seattle right now with all the smoke like we can appreciate you know fresh air um so th that's another thing that should be on our essential list like really building in time to spend time outdoors and like if you're an active person obviously like hiking and all that will give you the you know additional benefits but i'm just talking about going outside into nature and really just recognizing the beauty of nature is is really a self-care practice absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely um, and then also and i'm really big on this one is like unplugging um, from technology yes. okay so i know i'm not the only one that is bound by this telephone by this computer listen by all of the electronics things going on but listen when you lock away all of your devices like seriously though and you forget about them like turn it off your smartphone turn it off that tv aka television um you know powering down your computer and um any other electronic advice i mean device like you're bringing yourself back to a calm like do you even remember how it was before we had all of these things like i don't know right. I, don't even, I don't even i'm trying to like put myself back in that place but i know it wasn't as stressful as it is now with you know in the middle of the night getting ping binged emails all of that stuff unplug from it from time to time so essential essential self-care practice essential and speaking of more essential is laughter you know they say laughter is medicine laughter is good for the soul um, and so it's definitely something that's a good release activity because it makes you feel good. You know, when we, we even joke about, we joke around a lot on this show, you know, because it brings laughter. We laugh and it makes you feel good. Um, and so definitely, definitely laughter is an essential thing that you want to do at some point throughout the day. If you didn't laugh today, I'm hoping that I can crack a joke. Like we can try, we, cause you need to have laughed at least once. The joke I was going to tell, though, I don't think so. But let's just keep going, Taji. Cause I think they're laughing funny. based off of the fact that you had a joke. You know? It was in my mind I was going to share, but then I, I said, nah, don't do it. It has they're to do probably with laughing something. already. Let me tell you what it has to do with it. If I want to tell the whole joke, it has to do with a person's mother and a Cheerio. I'll leave it there. And we're already laughing. See, there we go. The laughter for the day. But okay, so now we're going to move on to the physical. So we have the essential. Now we're on to the physical. So yoga. Um, yoga is definitely a great way. It's a mind and body practice that combines physical postures, breathing techniques, and meditation or relaxation. So that is another great way to have some release. And it's also a good exercise. And it's good to stretch your body. So has a yeah, lot of yeah. benefits. 
yoga is super bomb. Yoga is super bomb. And to go along with yoga, another physical self-care activity is just exercise. Yoga is a form of exercise too. But just physical activity, planning it, structuring it, repetitive reps, you know, really for the purpose of just conditioning your body, right, to improve your health and maintaining your fitness. That's obviously a self-care thing. And, you know, even if it's just taking a walk, you know, around the neighborhood, yes. around the block, even if it's, if you're not able to get outside, you know, jogging in place, walking in place, like obviously we can use technology to pull up all type of workout routines and all of that. Just really thinking about 30 minutes a day. I mean, and if you're not up to 30 minutes a day, like starting somewhere, you know, mm -hmm. I think it's the most important piece for the exercise. And then obviously bubble baths. I mentioned this, that's my favorite one, but just having that water as hot as you can stand it, throwing some bubble bath in there. Queen Care has some amazing body wash that doubles as bubble bath that is really good for your skin and leaves your skin nice and smooth and silky when you get out. Um, just having that aromatherapy in your bath is, you know, um, really nice too. And you know what, Taji, like these days, like all the new construction, well, particularly in Seattle, you know, there's not a lot of places that are putting bathtubs in these rentals. And I'm like, That's true. Wait a minute, what happened to the tub? Like I had to customize mine and make, make, make my own, but I'm exactly. just saying, like, it's important. So just soap, try it. Try it, try it. And speaking of trying, um, massage, um, massage is another good release activity, self-care activity. Um, you can even do self-massages if you are feeling comfortable going back into, you know, having uh, massages during the coronavirus. Um, but massaging is perfect because, it, you know, it helps relax your, relax your muscles. We hold so much, much tension in, like, our neck and our back just because of, like, most of us are at the computer all day sitting down and it's just you know a lot so massages can definitely help get some of that tension and those kinks and the really relax your muscles um the way that they are supposed to be um and then one of my favorite which i mentioned earlier is mani pedi okay manicures and pedicures that is my stuff okay um but it is a beauty treatment to take care of both your hands and your feet you know that also there's massages with pedicures and uh, manicures um, and, you know, we definitely want to make sure we take care of our hands and our feet because we use them all the time. And so you definitely want to make sure you take care of your hands and feet. Um, and manicure and pedicures is a great way to do it. I love those two. I'm a massage junkie. So, yes, go get your own massage. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So let's move on to some of the mental and emotional um, release activities that you can do. Um, mindfulness. Okay. Now, mindfulness is really a mental state achieved by focusing one's awareness on the present moment. Okay. And then you're, while you're focused on the present moment, you're calmly acknowledging and accepting your feelings your thoughts, your sensations, and it's really a therapeutic technique to help you get in touch with what's going on in your physical body. It's just really making yourself still. So that's really important in this, in this day and time that we live in where everything is going a million miles per hour, you know, slowing down and just really is checking in like with you, like what is going on with you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and then along with mindfulness, like this is like, um, twin power, right. Is meditation. <laughs> okay. So meditation, very similar to mindfulness, but it's a practice where you use, um, you know, mindfulness or focusing the mind on a particular object or subject or activity. You're training your attention and awareness to achieve really clear mental, mental clarity, um, and to help your emotions stabilize in, into a calm, you know, soothing matter, manner. Okay. So that's what meditation is all about. And I highly recommend both of those two practices on a daily basis, daily more than once basis. a day, depending on your emotional state. Absolutely. Um, and kind of actually in that same realm as we're talking about the mental, emotional, it's that quiet time, you know, just having some time of silence, time for reflection, um, uh, of reflection and thought um, and or prayer, you know, and so really just being able to have that time with no distractions, 
just you and you know however that looks like for you then that's going to be a great time to spend time with just yourself and your thoughts and then for those of us who pray pray and all of that so that is quiet time um and then kind of along with that too during your quiet time some people like to journal so journaling is another great way to release um you know just writing down your thoughts writing down your feelings for the day um so that you can kind of be able to articulate sometimes it's hard to articulate how we feel but writing it down on a page is very soothing um and then also gives you more clarity on like okay this is what i'm feeling today or you know this is how this happened for me today or whatever so it's just a really good time to reflect on your day each day so absolutely i love journaling too because me too. sometimes like you said you're not able to able to express out loud what you're feeling, but you can put that pen to the paper and really have it out. Yep. And that's a great way to release the emotion or affirm your emotion. It is not exactly. always a negative emotion that you're journaling out. It could be a positive too that you're taking on. I love that. Absolutely. Okay. So moving on um, to your mental and emotional space, um, and this is kind of counterintuitive, but really decluttering your space. Now, yes. coming from someone who was um, a hoarder, I will admit mm -hmm. that. Like, I'm doing so much better with that. Like, um, I released a whole lot of just the papers, things I held on to for over 10, 15 years. Like, why do I need that piece of paper from 10 years ago? Like, I don't, everything's on the computer now. Why do I need it? Like, just having stacks of things, clothes you don't wear, um, all types of things you can hoard and it creates clutter in your home. But when you declutter your space, it's really the process of examining your life, right? going through all of your possessions <laughs> you know and that's whether it's physical possessions or mental thoughts that you may mm -hmm. need to declutter right um and you just basically decide what's really important to you like what really matters um and you discard the rest like if it's causing you stress duress you it's <laughs> negative anything like that let it go like let it go declutter it um because it's really about letting go of the things that no longer serve a purpose in your life so you can make room for the things that's most important to you because if yes. you are having all this stuff cluttered in your space either physically or mentally how can other good things get in when that space is already occupied so clear that space out clear it out get new you know good experiences all right and then lastly is positive affirmations. Um, and I also live by this one too. And their positive affirmations are just simple, short, and powerful expressions that influence thoughts to create reality. Okay. So it's like thinking of like all of the things, all of the negative things that you don't like about yourself and creating an opposite word to that, an opposite um, affirmation. So it might not be real right now. For example, yeah. you could be unorganized, okay? And the opposite of being unorganized is being highly organized, okay? So your affirmation would be, I am highly organized. You're saying that you're calling that into existence right now, even though it might not be true. So yeah. your words are very powerful and can alter your reality. Um, and so affirmations is a way to absolutely um, encourage your mind to go on a positive path around, you know, what's going on with you, traits that might not be so um, favorable. So um, that's a really powerful one as well. So those are our, you know, that's our, our roadmap, like our 101 self-care. We want people to get these essentials into their life, <laughs> these, these phys physical release um, activities into your life and these mental and emotional release techniques into your life as well um, through our challenge. So participate with us. I will be participating. Taji will be participating. And then come along on this self-care journey with us. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, so you all, I wasn't able to put it in the comments, but it is on our page and we'll make sure to also put it on our Instagram page. It won't let us share it for whatever reason. Um, but definitely want to make sure you get that. Um, one important announcement before we get into our youth spotlight is that um, on Wednesday, September 30th, we will have 
our monthly in-home spa experience. So I seen in the comments, some people were like, I need to get the Queen Care spa experience set. You definitely want to get it before the 30th, okay? You want to get it so you can be with us on that evening at 8 p.m. where it's going to be a private setting on Zoom. Um, so you can make sure you visit www.queencareproducts.com to grab your Queen Care spa experience set. Um, this is a private room experience, so we will lock the room at 8, 10 p.m. So, you know, you want to make sure you're on time because we want to make sure you are there. Um, and so make sure you enjoy a night of bliss with us. It's been wonderful these last few months. We've been having monthly in-home spa experiences, so don't miss September's in-home spa experience on the 30th to end off the month. Don't miss it. I have another announcement. Oh, we have another announcement. Yes, I want to shout out Marvette Charles. Marvette Charles, today is her one-year anniversary of Yay! working with Life Enrichment Group. So shout out to Marvette. She is our program facilitator for Young Queens Seattle King County at Cleveland High School. Today is her one-year anniversary for working with us. Shout out, Marvette. Shout out to Marvette. And I also saw in the comments, I saw um, Chrissy said that she actually had some some jokes that she's going to write down and share. So I don't know when she's, <laughs> I don't know when she's going to do it, but I bet she's it's a lot for us. And I also saw Charlotte in the comments. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, everybody. Um, but yeah, so let's bring in, we have a special young lady to come join us for our youth spotlight today. Um, her name is Kaya Lee. So I'm going to let her in because she's already here waiting for us. So let's get her in here. Hiya. Hello. <laughs> there she <Hiya>. is. <laughs> so this is Kaya Lee. I'm just going to tell us a little bit about herself and all the things, the wonderful things that she does. Um, even this summer, I'll let her talk about it, but this summer she actually played a major part in our summer program, the Scholars Project. So I'm going to let her Tell us all about it because I can talk forever about her because she's great. But Kaya, can you just give us like just a little bit about your role from the summer, kind of like how you've been involved with the Life Enrichment Group over the years? I can. So my name is Kaya Lee. I'm a sophomore in high school at Seattle Academy. And so for the past few summers, I've actually been a scholar through the Scholars Project. And I've had people like Ms. Taji and Ms. Monica and other people help guide me and teach me to love my Blackness and many more things like that. And this past summer, I was actually one of the instructors to help the other middle schoolers through the same things that I did. So empowering them, you know, reading and writing and vocab and all those great things needed to keep up over the summer. Although it was on Zoom for the first time this year and that was different, but it, it worked. We it works. It, it worked. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, and then also, um, Kaya, do you want to let everybody know about the more recent program that you're actually involved with, with Life Immersion Group? I can let them know. I am now involved in the Youth in Business program that is also led through LEG. And I'm so happy and so excited to be able to learn how to grow my business and make it such a professional thing. Shout out to Kaya's Custom Tees, um, my t-shirt business. Um, yeah, and they're giving me so many opportunities and now they're going to help me make money too. Exactly. You better make that money, kid. You better make that money. So yeah, we're so proud of Kaya. Kaya is doing awesome things. A young entrepreneur, our junior lead for our summer program, like just doing amazing things. And then also, Kaya, I know you mentioned um something that you were um involved with at school. Did you want to tell us a little bit about that too? At school, I'm sorry, what? So, <laughs> like school. Oh. Wrestle. Oh yes, I am a wrestler at my high school. This would be my, I've been wrestling since I was in the seventh grade, I believe, up at my old school, and now I am the girls team captain of my wrestling team. There it is. It works out through COVID, but that's, it's lit. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's the good news I was talking about. Yeah, and I need people to know, don't mess with young queens, like we're coming strong, we got wrestlers. Yeah. I 
got bodyguards out here. No, okay. Just kidding. We're talking about laughter and self-care, just a little jokey joke. But you know what, Kaya? I am really, really proud of you. I think you came into Scholars Project, what, in seventh grade, maybe? Were you going into seventh grade? I think yeah. so. And to watch you just blossom into this leader, like you, you just when people ask me why I do what I do and the sacrifices that I make, it's because of you. It's because of all the young people that have stories just like you. I watch you guys grow like over all these years and then take on positions in the organization. Like I want you guys to have my job. That's what I'm prepping you for. And you're on your way, young lady. So yeah, hurry up and, and get that done so I can retire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, seriously. But yeah, Kyle, we're so proud of you. Thank you for taking time out of your evening to come and share to the people about all the wonderful things that you've been up to. Um, you guys definitely want to stay updated with us because we'll learn more about like our young people like Kaya um, and others that are doing amazing, amazing things in their communities after schools. Um, yeah, so thank you so much, Kaya. Thank uh, you, Kaya. <laughs> thanks, Kaya. See ya. Oh, I love the youth spotlight. Like, I'm telling you, I just love it. Oh, it's my favorite part. I think it's my favorite part, too. Oh, my yeah. gosh. All right. Well, if there's not any more comments um, think so. in the comment section, make sure you all come on this challenge with us this week. Go ahead and download the checklist. Do what you need to do. Post it, tag us. Do we have any comments? We have more comments? Yeah, we do have some more okay, comments. Okay, what's the comment? Okay, so I see um, Miss Charlotte said, happy anniversary, Marvette. Yes. Um, Ashley said, congratulations. And Miss Marvette. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, okay. So people are giving congratulations and happy anniversaries. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Um, so anyway, final words is come along on this self-care journey with us, you guys. Um, it is just, it's not about me. It's about we, right? Mm -hmm. And the more that we pour into ourselves, like I said, I can't say this enough, the better we we're able to take care of each other. Thank you guys for showing up to Wealthy Wednesdays and engaging with us. It's another important piece that we don't become isolated out here, you know, because, you know, COVID is still going on. We're still, a lot of us are still in like virtual land every day and that can become very isolating just being on the computer and logging on and logging off. So thank you all for coming and engaging with us um, and just, um, yeah, being with us on this journey. Make sure you all go cop your spa experience sets because is it next Wednesday, Taji? We are doing the spa experience. They have two weeks. You have two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. You said two weeks. And if you missed any of our last spa experiences, you missed a treat. I'm talking like pure bliss. You think we have absolutely created a spa experience in a spa env environment on Zoom. If you can believe yes. it, you gotta come see it for yourself. So I wanna see all of you all there. This is your personal invitation. Um, peace and love to all of you out there. Get your self-care in this week and we will see you next Wednesday, Wealthy Wednesdays by Queen Care. Bye. Bye.